And for the next stop on our little journey on this alien planet of the animals that inhabit it, we we have another little series of either evolutions or generation gaps. I don't know. Uh, but this is the Smoker. And it's uh, this one's basically the size of a little wiener dog for the most part. This one has four legs and it, you know, has little steam stacks on its back and has a little tiny mouth to eat uh, and it has a little tiny mouth to eat little bugs and little plants and stuff off the ground this one is a harmless one one that you would want as a pet if you were going to be on this alien planet a sweet little thing and as far as the actual gases that it's poking out of its back i haven't really thought about it it's just smoke i was thinking of volcanoes when i did this so i was thinking of a volcano animal and this little thing kind of came to mind at first uh, you know Kind of like Charmander, but not exactly. Just, but think of it like Charmander, because I made little evolutions for it, I suppose. So, kitty, what you want outside? So speaking of volcanoes, I came up with this guy, the Volcani. I was trying to think of these creatures really as dogs. These are basically the dogs on the planet. And uh, so the next evolution, I don't know if they would evolve like through millions of years or if this would just be another different breed or something, but similar family, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking of it as like an evolution stage, like Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard, stuff like that. But anyway, the Volcani is... Uh, an evolved form of that basically it still has four legs but something different has happened as to where the two of the limbs are starting to fuse so these so it's technically three legs now but it is still basically a four-legged creature but it's two limbs are starting to fuse over here uh, which doesn't really affect it too much. It's, it could still do normal stuff. And this one can eat some meat. It is kind of carnivorous, but it also likes its plants and vegetables. But it, it would prefer a little meal of a little, you know, rat-sized thing or something. And it, it, its uh, steam stacks are all more clumped together, kind of forming a volcano, but it's not one yet. Just little thermal vents. Uh, like I said, I don't know what it could be expelling. It could just be uh, breathing for all I know, but... It's, uh, you know, it's an alien, it's a fake alien creature drawing, who gives a shit, really, what specifics it is yet, unless people actually like this. If, if you guys like this type of thing, you know, and you want me to give more detail and, you know, do more stuff, then I will. Which, also, I do have drawings where they are all in a setting, in an environment on the alien planet, mixed with plants and stuff, too. Which I'll show you guys those later, but I want to show all the creatures first and then show the environments that I drew them all in. So, going down, boom, boom. Now we've got the volcano back. Yes, again, very clever of the name, but, you know, I don't. It's hard to make dog puns. It's, it's really hard to make dog puns for these creatures, all right? So this guy has a fully formed volcano on its back now, and it has three legs officially. Those limbs from before have officially become one, and now it's got three legs, and it's a little bit shorter. It's uh, not as long, but it's, you know, still there. It's a little bit smaller than that dog. And there's not much else to say. That is just what I drew. And take it or leave it. <laughs> now we've got Sparky. Now this one I did kind of have fun trying to come up with a name for. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking, uh, how else can I do the volcano? So I drew this and I was like, I mean, I like it, but it just doesn't feel like a final form or doesn't feel like that should be the last one. So I was just like, okay, I'll make one more and I'll make this one actually look like a dog. And my sister, <laughs> when we were little, uh, she would, I think, no, we... I think it was from the show Arthur. His dog was named Sparky, I think. And my sister and I would play a dog game where I would be called Sparky. <laughs> Shut up, okay? <laughs> it was just something when, when I was little and I liked playing the dog, all right? And I thought of a little name for this one to be Sparky and then have sparks shoot out of the back instead of just a volcano of smoke. This one actually shoots fire, kind of. This one actually shoots actual sparks out of its back. Not really as an attack, but it is a distraction and it does scare away a lot of prey and enemies. And it, this one is definitely more like a dog. It is, it's got four legs, it's got a waggy tail, it's got the right type of neck and, you know, teeth and everything. This one is 
more of a full-on carnivore, but again, can eat some stuff, but this is more likely to hunt. It can run a lot faster than the other ones, and it can do more damage, and it's more fun to play with if it's domesticated. Remember, this is an alien planet, so you get what you get. You don't throw a fit. So I was starting to think about different types of creatures that will be on this alien planet. I look at our planet, and there's lots of different creatures that are all kind of similar. Like with dogs, there's many different breeds of dogs, many different breeds of cats, pigs, cows, etc. They all There's a lot of the same animal, but they look different. You know what I mean? So I was starting to think, I can't just have all my alien creatures be different. They have to be kind of similar, but different. So... So I came up with the Cyclodons, and Cyclodon is supposed to be like a Cyclops. These are all one-eyed creatures, and Ladon, I, I don't know, I mean, I was thinking of, a, you know, a Pteranodon, or just thinking of dinosaur names, kind of, and I know Cyclodon kind of sounded kind of cool. So up here we've got the Blacktail Cyclodon creature, and it's they have, they're known for having their long bodies and, you know, little weird shape heads and beaks and little different mounds on the top on the back of their heads that would be toward the back of the head and different you know some have odd shaped you know little things coming out of their body these aren't even exactly sharp so they're not really for defense they're just kind of a random piece to the body and and I'm not exactly sure how fast these are supposed to be because their bodies are really long. I assume they can go maybe 10 miles per hour, 12 miles per hour, or something like that. Nothing too fast, but enough to catch small game sometimes if they're lucky, if it's, if it's by surprise. And it can, you know, curl up its hind legs and stab you with its uh, legs. Like, imagine if it like were to get a good, you know, jump off its, high, off its forelimbs and then, you know, bring its body around and psh, stab you with its little horn in the back or it's not a stinger but it's basically a horn that if it were on a rhino would be up here but it's down here and it uses it sometimes it's not the best defense but it does sometimes you know help against fighting animals but they do mostly try to eat plants as well so that they stay out of danger but again if they're really hungry and want some meals or if another animal's bugging them they might try to eat them so hell yeah but the blacktail cyclodon specifically does not really like to engage in prey. But with the redtail cyclodon, oh yeah, you bet your ass it does. The redtail cyclodon loves to get in a fight. This one's a lot more aggressive. This one's a little faster, a little taller. And if we're talking height wise, this one's probably the size of like a Great Dane or something. Uh, but long, like stretch out a Great Dane, and that's how long this one is. And it's a lot more fiery, got sharper teeth. Uh, it's just, you know, much more prone to violence and can attack you. So these red tail cyclodons are a lot more aggressive, and that's mainly their difference with the more friendly yellow cyclodon. And then we've got the dwarf cyclodon. <clears throat> And then we've got the Dwarf Cyclodon. Now I was thinking, yeah, just of a smaller version because they can't all be super long. I mean, why should they be? So this one has, you know, it's basically the same as them, but instead of it being stretched out by maybe like, you know, three or four to seven feet or something between its legs, uh, it's more like, you know, two feet. You know, basically two feet between that. It's basically almost normal size, but in proportion to its body, it still seems kind of long. So it still is a cyclodon, but it's just a little short guy. This one does not really like to get in fights, but its bite would hurt if it bit you. But honestly, it will not be able to kill you, really. I mean, unless it bites your neck, but it doesn't know how to fight like that. So it's just a plant evasive creature creature it is really fast though a lot faster than those guys so it can outrun danger pretty well and it's little <clears throat> this one doesn't have a horn at all this one is just sort of a a nub a nub thing that it you know can wag like a little tail and that is all that's unique about this i mean these are technically a little sharper but they still won't do much damage. If, I mean, if an animal's dumb enough to walk into it, then sure. But other than that, its defense is not very much. And for the end of this page, we've got the Hornhead Cyclodon. This one is basically a giant cyclodon. This is like the size of a rhinoceros, but stretch it out. And then you have a Hornhead Cyclodon. <clears throat> 
Yep, that is all that I have to say about that. Uh, just marvel at its graciousness, if you will. Just picture this as a rhino, but on an alien planet for the most part. Oh, did you think I was done? Oh, no, 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 sir. <laughs> I made more. I tried to make quite a few different types of little cyclodon creatures. So, the next one we've got is the purple tail cyclodon. Now, this one is more similar to the dwarf cyclodon, honestly. It's uh, pretty playful. It's kind of small. It's uh, not dwarf size, though. It's still a little longer and a little bigger body mass and a kind of skinny neck and an actual waggy tail, kind of like a dog. This is the type of cyclodon you would want as a pet also. This one would be more fun to play with. This one isn't as much to danger. This one just does what it wants, just uh, eats little plants here and there and fruits. This one likes the fruits and veggies. It has a good diet. The Cyclodon Sprinter. Oh, I forgot I made. I forgot I made this one. <laughs> yeah, the Cyclodon Sprinter. I was thinking of a Greyhound or some of those running dogs. And this one's basically like them, but you know, slightly longer body. Uh, definitely long legs and stuff, and long neck. And it's a Cyclodon Sprinter. It's got its one eye, and it can sprint really fast. That is all. That there is to it. I I like my design here for the color schemes, the red on yellow and then the red on black. I don't know why, that just looks uh, kind of cool. And, you know, usually I, I try to make it really busy, but I'm kind of glad that I didn't with these guys. I just made, you know, a few little things here and there. I didn't make a bunch of other stripes and dots. So, good job, younger Jeff, a little bit, a couple years ago. Oh yeah, this one. <laughs> I thought that the rhino one was supposed to be the really big one, but nope. That goes to the giant cyclodon. If you can't tell, this guy is supposed to be pretty darn big. Um, I don't remember what size he's supposed to be compared to, but I would say um, maybe like an elephant. Not like a huge dinosaur, but yeah, maybe like an elephant sized, but again, kind of stretch out that belly. And this one actually has actual defense on it. Uh, its horns are sharp on the back, and if you pounce on it from behind, it will slice you. Uh, it's got, you know, some good jagged edges on the horns on the back of its head. So again, if it, you know, can whip you with the back of its head, then you are screwed. Uh, this one is not a carnivore though. It is a plant eater also. Uh, and it's just big and it's got a sharp tail and it's the most defensive, uh, herbivore of this little group of the cyclodon creatures. And that is it for these guys. I'm going to go to the next one now.